my top 10 drunk performers on the hit TV show, MASH. Starting with number 10, Burt Young. Now, I know he's only on one episode, playing Lieutenant Willis. But he gets drunk, and then Hawkeye uses it to blackmail him so that Phil Walker can marry his Korean bride and take her home back to the United States. Again, it was just one episode, but I will always remember it. Burt Young is number 10. Number 9, Harry Morgan is Colonel Sherman T. Potter. Now, he could have been higher, but a lot of times when he was drunk, it seemed forced. Not that he's not a great actor. He was fantastic as Colonel Potter. But a lot of times when he was drinking, I was like, eh, I'm not really buying it. I'm just, I just, It just was kind of, it wasn't consistent. He wasn't a consistent drunk on the show. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Number eight, Mike Farrell, BJ Honeycutt. Kind of there, not there. It just was nothing special. Again, Great actor, great character, just not a great drunk. Number seven, William Christopher. I only remember him being drunk once, and that was when Frank had made the whole camp dry. Prohibition was back, and he was stumbling over his words, and he asked Radar to open one of the stained glass windows. Number six, Alan Alda. Sure, he could be higher on this list. He was great at everything. I mean, probably the best actor on the show, and a show with great, talented actors. But he, he was hot guy. He was he was good. He was good, but he was good at everything. Him being a great drunk and a great performer. So I'm just I'm gonna give him number six. Number five, my favorite character on the whole series of Mash, uh, Wayne Rogers as Trapper John McIntyre. Always cracked me up when he was drunk. Him and Hawkeye played off each other pretty well. Number four, Larry Linville as Major Frank Burns Eats Worms. I think what made it so funny when he was drunk, because his character was supposed to be so straight-laced. Of course, you know, he's reading the Bible, but he's breaking every commandment known to man. But I just loved his character when he got so serious and so upset and all, all tough and stuff like that. And it always made me laugh. So Frank Burns is number four. Number three, and he could have been higher, but I would go with Gary Berghoff as Walter Radar O'Reilly. And again, he could have been number one for just one scene. My bear went off! Classic, classic line. Classic, classic scene. Again, could have been higher. But the next two, I think, are the two best drunks on MASH. And I went back and forth with it. But my number two is McLean Stevenson as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake absolutely killed it as a drunk. He was very believable, extremely funny. But the reason I didn't make him number one over this other actor is because he was supposedly drunk all the time. So it was common for him to be drunk. Again, McLean Stevenson was fantastic in the role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake. And he was a great drunk and could have been number one on my list except for one person, Loretta Swit, Major Margaret Houlihan. Every time she was drunk on the show, again, she was straight lays, regular army, by the book. But when her character got drunk, it was believable, it was funny, and I just enjoyed it. She was a great, great drunk on the show. <laughs> and it just goes to show her talent as an actress. That's my top ten. You can agree with it, disagree with it. Make your own list in the comment section. That's all I got. Subscribe, tell a friend, all that fun stuff. We'll be back later on. Thanks for watching.